Hey guys, it's Miss Tia's and Asheria Price. <laughs> and we have an Ask Misty for you. All right, dear Misty, I am a straight guy that is enthralled with the art of drag. I have always been a performer, and I love being another person. I am just starting my journey, and I know drag is mostly done by gay guys. Do you think it is okay or normal, and what should I do next? Asheria, you pick this question. Answer it first. Go. I have to get close to the camera. Okay, go ahead. So he can see the intensity in my eye. <laughs> Go ahead. I am completely lost. You said that you are a straight guy, which I understand, but you said that you have um, always been a performer and you are enthralled by the idea of the art form of female impersonation and drag entertainment. So, you're trying to find out what do you do next? I'm confused. If you are in, if you are thrilled by drag and it's something that takes you up and you love entertaining and you love performing, why won't you just simply become a drag queen? If, but I guess you say you know drag is done by gay guys, so you don't want to be referred to as gay or you don't think the people are going to automatically associate or assume that you're gay because you want to do drag shows. I'm just kind of like puzzled. Just confused. But... Nevertheless, I encourage you to follow your heart and do exactly what you feel comfortable doing. And I'm sure no matter where you are or where you may go, someone will understand and accept you for you simply being you and expressing how you feel. Um, yes. I think, again, outside of the box from a lot of people, I think that if you are a straight man and you want to take ballet... I think you should hurry this shit up I know, and get the hell out of my house. I love That's you, what baby. I think. All right, I think outside the box from it's a lot a of man. other people. It's a man. <laughs> I'm gonna edit all this. I'm gonna get me a man that supports me like that, girl. I'm yeah. gonna find one one day. He's a good guy. All right, so I think outside the box. I think that if you're a straight man and you want to take ballet, take ballet. If you're a straight guy and you want to be a baker, be a baker. If you're a straight guy and you want to be a hairdresser, be a hairdresser. If you're a straight guy that wants to do drag, there's gonna be a lot of people. <sighs> There's going to be a lot of people that don't understand it, but if you truly want to be a drag queen, be a drag queen. I know a straight man who does drag. Um, he is a high school Spanish teacher in New York, um, and he just messaged me. He's bringing his fiance girlfriend down, and they're going to be visiting Miami, and I'm like, do you want to do the tranny palace? And he's like, oh, no, no, I'm not bringing drag. She's supportive of the drag, but... Um, this is a romantic anniversary thing for them, so there will be no drag involved. He wants to come down for a separate trip to do Training Palace. But anyways, um, I didn't understand it either. I was like, he's joking. Right, he can't be serious. He is not really a straight man doing drag, and he is. And he also is a high school football coach. So, is he a feminine, delicate, beautiful goddess? Maybe not so much, but he loves performing and he's good at it. So I say if you follow your passion, whatever it is, follow your heart and your life will be complete. Um, that's all I have to say about that. What do you have to say? Any follow-ups? That's it? I'm just confused. <laughs> but, <laughs> honey, but doing never... drag don't make you gay. Sucking dick makes you gay. That's the, what I have to say. No, 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 no. Unless it's on a girl. The, the straight boys say that don't make them gay. They, they, they are exploring. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Anyways, honey. I think, oh. and this, this has been my theory for a long time, and I hope people agree with. <laughs> I hope people agree with me. What you identify as and what you respond to, thus so makes you that. If someone says. Are you black? And I say yes. I identified as being black. Meaning that I'm giving them the authority and the power to refer to me as an African American or a person who is black or of African American descent or dark skinned or, or whatever the case may be. That's what I'm identifying as. If someone says, are you a female impersonator? And I say, yes, I am. I am identifying as an individual who gets on stage and impersonates a female and performs and entertain for a different, for, for a plethora of audiences. So therefore, it's what I am identifying as and I'm giving people and I'm enabling them to... You're giving them permission. Permission to 
you know, address me as such. So with that being, to, to answer your question, is it is it wrong or crazy that you are straight that you are a straight man who is thrilled by the art by, by by the um performing as a woman. By yeah, by drag, you know, you, you you love it, and it's something that you want to, you know, partake in and be a part of. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I really don't. I mean, I know straight men who are hairdressers. I know straight men who are makeup artists. I know straight men who drive school buses. I know straight men who are bakers. I know straight men who are nurses. All these things that society has looked at That's as a feminine. woman's job. Or feminine, there are many straight men in this world that are doing it, and I don't think that you would be wrong for wanting to be straight and partake in the art form in which we love and we accept. And I applaud you for wanting to participate and and be straight. Maybe that can bridge some kind of gap between the heterosexual and the homosexual community. But I will say, be careful when you start walking in heels and sashaying. That starts to carry over into your real life. And you might start sashaying in your everyday time. Thought. Note to self. Anyways, that was Misty Eyes and... A Sharia Prize! Loving you is easy.